It's the time of year when the days are shorter and the air feels colder. While some head south to escape the winter weather, state lawmakers are looking at ways to bring more daylight into the mix, and it could involve altering the state's time zone. Our Andy Madison has a look at the issue. Andy? Good evening, Brittany. As you mentioned it, days like today are rare in the wintertime, and so is daylight because throughout the year, we transition between two different time zones, Eastern Standard Time and Eastern Daylight Time. Now we're in Eastern Standard Time right now during the winter months, but state lawmakers are considering a change to the other time might be beneficial for the area. It was a rare sight on Wednesday. The sun, short sleeves at 55 degrees at noon. It's gorgeous. I'll take it, take tomorrow and the next day. After that, who knows what it's going to do up here. I'm glad it's like this. I mean, last few days it's been, you know, rainy, just kind of dreary. Dreary could be one way to describe the winter months in the northeast. Where the temperature drops, the clouds roll in, and it seems there isn't much daylight. It's not good. It's not, it's not, really, it's not healthy to, to always, you know, be in the dark like that. You need that vitamin D. Would removing daylight savings time change that? A special commission is looking at the possibility of altering the state's time zone. Arguments for it include saving energy and improving public health. We spoke with a psychologist who said the lack of daylight can negatively affect a person's mood. Susceptibility to seasonal affective disorder rises the farther you are from the equator because it's dark more. So when you provide more hours of daylight, you lower the likelihood of people going through that. Could you imagine Massachusetts being the only state in New England on a different time zone? Most people seem skeptical about the idea. It's still going to be dark when it's supposed to be dark. The cows still got to get up the same time every day, you know what I'm saying? Okay. You're not going to help the cows by changing the clocks. Cows always get up early no matter what the time of the year it is. Now it's again Eastern Standard Time and Eastern Daylight Time. We go to Eastern Daylight Time is when we set the clocks ahead on the second Sunday of March to the first Sunday in November. Now again, this is a special commission that the state has formed. They met today for the first time, but again, this is all very preliminary. Brittany, I'll send it back to you. Andy, thank you for following that.